day everyone welcome to tarish tv please kindly subscribe to this channel also hit the bell icon so you can get notifications thank you namdi kano has come back to his senses calls for peace namdi kano the leader of the indigenous people of biafra it's one of the famous group that are agitating for the self-determination of the people of the former eastern region. Of course, self-determination is their fundamental human right as it is contained in the UN chapter. The leader of the group has, through his activities, become one of the most popular activists in recent time, with the fellowship fellowship numbering over 200 million people he is about one of the top influencer of the world over his agitation has earned him a lot of recognition among governments international groups and international community he has taken this message of self-determination to virtually all the countries of the world seeking support However, much as his popularity has hit the sky in just few about five years of taking a stand, many are still not comfortable with his activities. There are two schools of thought who would not agree with the UK train activists. The two, the two can be categorized as an extreme and my school of thought. The extreme school of thought not want him to go about his agitation. This group have faith in the status quo, while the my school believe in the struggle and rather disagree with the modus operandi adopted by Namdi Kano. This group, which I belong, think that being civil in the agitation will be more beneficial than the present harshness. Their agitation is that your neighbor is like your brother. If you insult them because you are seeking self-determination, you may neither get the support you will need as a nursing system. Nevertheless, the events of the last few weeks have proved Namdi Kano has finally taken our advice. It was gathered that in the report from Punching.com, 15 July 2020, that he has reconciled with Na Ngodo, the President General of Ohanezi Ndigbo, a social cultural group that holds Igbo people together. Both leaders had been in Georgia head for reasons that borders on the accusation of sabotage of the people's interest. Having taken our advice, Namdi Kano has ordered his followers to shite their sword and agree to work harmoniously for the common goal. As we were still digesting that great gesture and hailing him for his noble decision, he pulled another strong word of praise. It was gathered that July 23, 2020, that he has instructed his followers and his media person to stop attacking Yoruba people. Isn't that a great thing? A long race dust has finally settled and we can now move forward for one nation building. However, much as he, Namdi Kano, has finally started bearing his hatchet. There one more thing he must do. Namdi should also consider reconciling with Chief Raf, who was Rubrique. They may have differences, but reconciliation is paramount to the struggle. In unity we stand, divided we fall. What a great uh, decision uh, from uh, by Namdi Kano to have reconciled with Na Udo the president general of Ohanezi Ndigbo. Now they can now they can work together as one. In in the process of working together, we can deduce that 
they will be able to achieve uh, the Biafra struggle because they are one body. Now that Unam de Kano has recognized that and has, uh, I mean, they have agreed to work together, they will be able to achieve the same goal, the same struggle which they want to agree. They will be able to roll up minds together and they will be able to achieve uh, whatever they want to achieve without quarrels and without uh, an objective. Thank you guys for listening and I will see you on the other news as you drop by the conversation, your thoughts and your views concerning this new story. Thank you.